How to create template in CapCut. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create template in CapCut. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So in creating a template in CapCut, the first thing that we need to do is to install a CapCut on our PC or desktop. And to do that, all we need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to CapCut.com. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. And you will be directed on this page in which from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know CapCut, it is a video editing app in which it offers a range of video editing features that allow users to edit and enhance their videos directly on their mobile devices and using their desktop. And from here, to download CapCut for your Windows, just click the button Download for Windows below. And after downloading the CapCut, the next thing that you need to do is to open it and you will be directed in here. In which below here, you will see a different kind of drops and those drops are considered as template. Since in creating a template in CapCut, you can easily do that by clicking on New Project and by going back to this page, you will be able to create a drop that will serve as your template. So now let's try to create a template so just click New Project on the top panel. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, you will see on the top left corner some of the editing tools that you can navigate. We have here media, audio, tracks, stickers, effects, and many more. And by clicking the media option, we can start importing a media files from our computer. Or alternatively, you can select a media files that offers for free on the library of this CapCut. So I'm just gonna choose to select from the library of this platform in which below that you will see a different kind of categories including animation, BNW, cutout text, and many more. And in those options, you can just select any kind of videos that you prefer to enter to your timeline. But since we're just making a template, we can select any of this video. So I'm gonna choose this one and to add it to our timeline just drag this video down here. But as you can see here, it is currently downloading. So that means before we drag a video to our timeline, the first thing that we need to do is to fully download a specific video in this library. So while we're waiting to fully download the kind of video that we selected, we can start importing a video or media files that is available on our computer. So to do that, just click the local option under the media. Then followed by clicking the import button below here and just select the media files that you want to upload. And after that, just drag down here to our timeline. And now that we have the media files on our timeline, we can now start customizing this such as to make it longer by dragging the images to the right to make the video longer. And aside from that, you could also import a multiple images that you prefer to add in this timeline. And just drag this down so that it will be added to our timeline. And now as you can see, we have now created a 12 seconds video. And aside from that, on the top panel, you could also navigate the audio option in which by clicking on it, you will be able to add a music or upload a music files from your computer. But in this app, they offer a variety of free music that you can choose. We have here sound effect, extracted audio from your computer files, and you can even sign in your TikTok account in here. So in those options, let's say I'm gonna choose from music category, in which they also offer a subcategory including vlog, warm, beat, and many more. And to add it to our timeline, just do the same process, which is to drag down into our timeline. And after that, it will be added to our timeline. And the music that you choose will be part of the video. And aside from that, you could also customize the length of this music by dragging it down to the left to shorten the music. And you could also adjust this by dragging it to the right in order to lengthen this music. And aside from that, you could also navigate the text option in which you could add a different kind of context, including default text, text with effects, text template, and many more. Which under the effects section, it will show you a variety of contexts with different kind of fonts and color. And aside from that, you could also download a text template and drag it down to your timeline in order to add a specific template to your video. 
and let's say we want to input a context of default text. So kind of click this default text and it will show to your video and all you need to do is to customize the context and to do that all you need to do is to go on the right side panel and just enter the text that you prefer. So let's say I'm gonna enter sample text and you could also drag it down the context or change the location of it in your video. And on the right side panel, you could also customize the font style, the size of it, the color, and many more. Aside from that, you could also navigate the sticker option in which it may help you to make your template more creative to look at in which on the right side panel, you will see a variety of sticker that you can choose. And it is also divided into category. We have here trending, emphasis, icons, emoji, vlog, and many more. And after selecting a specific stickers, you could also change the layout of it, the size, and even the position using the editing tools on the right side panel. In which as you can see below, here are the, some of the elements that we just input in our templates. We have here stickers, the context, and even the audio that we just input. And aside from that, you could also navigate the effects option on the top panel in which it will give an effects to your video in which it might be helped to make your template more creative to look at. Now moving on to the transitions option. By clicking on it, it will show you a variety of transition that you can choose. We have here the trending categories, overlay, camera, blur, light effect, basic, and many more. And in those options, I'm going to select this black fade in which this will serve as a transition from our first picture to the second picture. Now for the filter section or option on the top panel, you will see here some of the filters that you can choose including the portrait category, life, food, movies, night scene, and many more, in which it may help you to change the mood for the better of this video template. We have here Calm, 90s Pop, Tante Monica, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Glow, Sunshine, and any other filters that you can choose. Or if you want to customize manually the mood of your video, just click the adjustment option on the top panel and you can start customizing the adjustment of your video template. And you can adjust that using the editing tools on the right side panel. You could access the auto adjust if you have a pro account. But if you don't have one, you can manually adjust the brightness, the sharpen, feed, and many more. And now that we add different kind of elements, in our video templates, the next thing that we need to do is to change the title or rename this video template. And to do that, on the top panel, you will see the title of it and to edit or customize the title, kindly click on it and upon clicking on it, you will be able to enter the title that you prefer. So let's say I'm gonna enter intro sample. Then the next thing that we need to do to export these video files or alternatively, we can just go back by clicking this menu and click back to home page or exit and upon clicking on it we will be able to be directed in here in which from here you will see the intro sample or video templates that we just created and to customize this we can just simply click on it and add additional elements on the video so that is just how to create template in CapCut. thank you